Welcome back, my friends. We are going to recruit a couple of Nublar Trappers and get those in here so they have a few more of those. A little extra missile unit is, is, is probably well worth having. And we're going to end the turn. And next time we are going to go take a Karak Crack 10, I think. Oh, there are... There are rats in there, I think. Uh, Glory forces recruit 20 new units. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Plus 3,000 cannibal totem. Will they attack plus 10 assigned unit women? Strength plus 10% assigned unit. Ooh, that's not bad. All right. Tribe Lord. Uh, let's get down to Karak Crack a 10 and attack that. So we have 17 of 20 units. Clan Mordkin Skaven. Okay. Uh, we are going to declare war. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're going to choose to decide the best way to kill us. Whoa. Legends told of mighty burrows hollowed out by the rat men beneath ruined cities. A perfect victory. That these legends were true. If we auto resolve, it doesn't show me. Okay, Skaven under Empire. That's why. Uh, legends told of mighty burrows hollowed. Blah blah blah. Uh, the Skaven can establish their bases of operation in any settlement, including those owned by other races, by constructing under cities directly beneath them. Skaven settlements and under cities are part of the vast subterranean network known as the Under Empire. Okay. Well, I think we're going to encircle here and just. Take a little bit of time. Okay, we can upgrade a building. Uh, well, we can build a building. Weapon pile. Alright, so... Which building do we want to build? Uh, so... Muck Trench. Defensive supplies plus 25 per turn when under siege. Provides garrisons. Uh, defensive supplies plus 25 per turn. Growth plus 10. That might be nice. Uh, big Slab. Growth plus 10 cash on to replenish. Run rate plus 3%. Income generated. Meat generated. Control plus two corruption minus two. So control might be nice actually. Uh, growth plus 20, provides garrison over bulls. Growth plus 30. So I think the growth is probably the way to go. And let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, the, where did they come from? Get him. Beat him. Uh, what? So now it's a close victory. So that's better. They've taken some attrition. I think we'll encircle for one more turn. And maybe maybe, just maybe we should recruit a new lord. Uh Well, we could also recruit a Slaughtermaster. So Slaughtermaster is a Spellcaster. And the Tyrant is a melee guy. 
So I think we'll go with a spellcaster. A farter, speed plus four. <laughs> okay. I like that. Propels him forward with his farts. Intelligent hero, self defense plus 5%. Defense of wounding aggressors, ambush defense plus 10%. Um, I think we'll go with. Our, so, what's the stair speed? 54. It's not the worst. Uh, let's recruit you. And let's recruit some units for you. Uh, uh, I did not tell you to recruit that. Well, I didn't want to tell you to recruit that. Uh, let's recruit some Noblar trappers for him for now. Just start that second... Uh, How did we encounter the Celestial Loyalists all the way over there? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, let's end the turn. Alright, Rotic the Dominator is leaving. Now, still a close victory, but I think we can do this. Uh, so that's... It doesn't show me that we're going to lose anything, but we're going to fight the battle. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Your forces are ready to storm the defenses. Yet I advise caution. You face an entrenched enemy that has... Yeah, yeah. We know. Alright, so... Where can we get in? Um... I think we're going to start down here somewhere. Um, and head over here and grab that. So where are we now? We're over here. I suppose that's fine too. Um... Let's put you in group one, you in group two, three, four, and that's fine. Uh, you can be five. All right. So group two. I think I want up here together with group three. Why can't I place you? Hello? Okay. There we go. And then we'll take group one and Put over here together with don't know why I can't place them there together with the uh, stone horn and our hunter and I think this is fine let's start the battle and we'll into battle with take great powers, my lord. all of these and move up. Get 
let's move you up here. Off we go. The more calls. Follow you. You can come up in between. You guys shoot at those. All of you can come up this way. Like that. They are our. Uh, why are our. Spear is not shooting. Uh, okay, armies may occasionally answer battle, blah blah blah. Okay. Can you please move up? I want you to shoot those spears. Let's move you up. And let's move you up. Alright. There, up here, which I guess is fine. Uh, we'll grab you guys and attack those. We'll grab you and attack the slingers. And you will attack the slingers as well. Okay. We are firing at the spears, which is fine. Rampage this way. Ogres. Tribe on the move. All right. And you guys, you're firing at those, right? Stonehorn is doing well. Okay, let's get in there. Who are you fighting right now? There's only my units in there. Get up there. Take those guys out. Uh, let's get everyone up here. Alright. Our stone maw is going nuts on those guys. Beautiful. Get in there. Still going mayhem over there. I love it. And our guys are coming across the bridge. Let's get in here. And you 
can get in there. All right, I'm pretty sure we're winning this. Well, you know what? Let's. Uh Move into the clan rat spears here. So they're probably not the best to attack for a big guy. Uh, you guys attack those guys instead. Get in there. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, my lord is under attack. What the hell is he doing away back there? Get up here. Now. Seems like we're winning. You have leadership minus eight. Uh, okay. So, are they building a barricade here? They are building a barricade here. Get through there. Get in there. And get in here. Charge! They're not going to enjoy that. Alright. Kill those guys. Guys, all right, get in here. All right, they're they're running. They are a running. This in here. Okay. Hunt them down. For the ogres. They are in total disarray. So are we, to be fair. Okay. Greasus, don't. All right, Greasus, are you I'm getting in there fighting their guy? Where's their guy? Oh, there he is. Biscuit. Okay. And down here. Our guys have won. So. Get back here. Okay. 
that's a clan rats. Okay. Uh, Fesket is stubborn. Let's put that on him. And get this done. We want Fesket to go down. Let's grab you three. Get in there. These ogre bulls are not doing too well. But hopefully, with some friends, they'll fare better. Okay. Take out Fesket, please. Alright, they're running. Fesket is going down now. All right, victory, fantastic. We won. And we did okay, I think. It's a close victory, but I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Let's see. MVP Stonehorn, 250 kills. Wow. Uh, the Ogre Bulls did quite well. 172, 176, 111. Even our Noblars did okay with 94 and 60. The Noblar Trappers didn't do too great. The Hunter did quite well, 82 kills. Not bad. So the Night Runners were the MVPs on their side. 75 kills. Yes, that's Noblars that they took out. Anyway, a win is a win. Now, they did deploy almost twice as many troops as we did. They deployed, well, 2,100, 2,200. We deployed 1,260. So we lost 392, though, which is uh, feels like quite a lot. But they lost quite a bit more, which is wonderful. And this should give us the town. And there's probably a bit of army left to deal with. But that's okay. That's okay. Radio. Close victory. We get some meat. Five meat. We get quite a bit of loot. Not bad. Oh, they did die, of course, because it's a settlement uh, battle. We gained a rank. And that is wonderful. Fantastic. Plus 2,490 experience for Greasus. We will... I think we'll just occupy here. Alright. Cave Painter experience gain plus 8%. Nice. Alright. Big name unlocked. Noblar kicker for good blout. Uh, we already unlocked that, didn't we? Uh, oh, we unlock Big Bellower. Okay, fine. Ogres cannot fight with empty stomachs. Secure a supply of meat here, and quickly. For when hungry, your kind have been known to turn on each other for sustenance. Uh, okay. Ensure each army you control has 40 meat. Okay. Pirates with titles earn five big names across all characters. We 
We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Armor of silver steel. Armor plus 20. Not bad. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's see. Lord not moved. Yeah, that's you. Uh, we are going to... Switch to an encamp stamp. And we are going to recruit some units for you. And we have Noblars, Noblar Trappers. Um, let's get a couple more units of Noblar Trappers. Uh, I don't... And we can get... Um... I'm not exactly sure what Iron Fist does. Hmm. Let's get... Facilities are at maximum capacity, my lord. Training of additional recruits will begin as soon as possible. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. And let's see down here. We want the shockingly base. So we already have the bullpen. So we might as well demolish that. Uh, we can upgrade you to get more income. And that's fine. Uh, we have some unassigned Grace, skill points. The shockingly obese. It is pretty shocking. Uh, hardy recruitment cost income from raiding income from sacking settlements craft master recruitment plus one recruitment capacity plus one renowned and feared upkeep minus eight percent yeah that, that would be kind of nice uh Let's go with bull charge again. Chuck it on my loot pile. And we have an unassigned skill point for you as well. Uh, available at rank 5 is the next one. Saber Tusk. Attribute Vanguard deployment. This unit can deploy outside the deployment zone. Uh, so everything here is to do with saber tusks uh, base weapon damage damage plus 10 percent armor piercing weapon damage so this is ooh, that is nice so that's a spell this is saber tusks this is saber tusks Let's get Savage Predators. Let's end the turn. Okay. Try Lord. We researched uh, plus five melee attack for Ogre Bulls. Wonderful. My Lord. The enemy raid your lands and slaughter your denizens. Take up arms against them. Make them pay dearly for their transgressions. Yeah. Uh, we will do that. Uh, you just got a level. Uh...
I think we'll go with Independent Mind. Get that going. Let's see. If we do this, we won't be able to get back in an encampment stance or anything. Uh, so, if we take a look at, so we are we're consuming seventeen meat. How much meat do we have? How do I see that? I really don't want to move down there. I think we're going to get out of the town and get into an encampment stance. Uh, make camp. Uh, I want to see what this make camp does. So how do I make camp? I'll scrub my gut with your spine. Uh, Racist needs a rest. Vincent and Cap. Can I? So make Cap. I name you Supper. Deploy a Cap. The player camp. The Ogres are renowned for their nomadic ways and fires of revelry. By constructing a camp, local faction can provide benefits and support to their local armies, even deep inside enemy territory. Once available, any Ogre army can deploy a camp using the button on the army panel. Camps cost money to construct. They may be deployed in controlled, allied, or enemy territories. Learn more about Ogre camps here. Okay. Technology must be resourced before any Ogre camps can be built. The total number of what technology? Uh, camp foraging, camp huddle. So we can build a camp. All right. So why? Is there no? Oh, deploy camp. I'm too, too, too close to a settlement. Okay. So, what do you have for a garrison here in Karakratan? Really nothing. Okay. Let's grab you. Oh, I'm recruiting. All right, so let's recruit some more. When uh, when are buildings due? In three turns. We've already upgraded you. Uh, we need to build here. I think I want the control. Meat generated 10 local armies, but minus 50% for... from... Uh, uh, minus 50% income for all buildings. Uh, We're going to go growth plus 10. Okay. And... Let's see. We want... 
you to recruit. Do that. Why can't I right click? It says right click for further information, but there is no further information, it seems. Alright. Well, uh, I think we have some iron fists down here. Or maybe not. That's iron guts. Okay. We can research. We did whetstones. Uh, casual to replenishment rate plus five percent. Yeah, we're definitely going with that. All right, let's end the turn. All right. Uh, underway interception. I I think you're uh, done, Rottich the Dominator. Let's uh, auto resolve. Alright. A gleaming pennant. Uh, not bad. Leadership plus four, okay. I can live with that. Alright, Ratchet is done for. Uh, you have a level up, so you're level five now. I think I'm going to go with missile strengths. Or gutsy. Hit points plus four percent. Kinda like that too. I like the armor as well. Let's go with the missile stuff. Alright, Clan Mordkin is destroyed. We got the gleaming pennant. Okay. And Brutal Buffet, bonus experience 1500 for Gnoblar Kicker, good luck, nice. The Great Maw demands tribute. Dispatch surplus meat from your armies to feed your hungry god. Your kin may grumble at the loss of foodstuff, but the blessings of your deity will surely drown out their belly aching. Okay. So, but I don't. Money is the lifeblood of success and glory. Without the means to support your armies, you will be powerless to make war. Seek to raise your income. Yeah, I am working on that. Okay. Um. Right. So you are safe. Move. Move your leg, mate. Uh, I'm actually going to put you into the march stash because we need to get up here to take Amble Peak. Come on, faster. And you. Can come up here and deploy a camp. Okay, so that means that we get buildings here. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the real kind of buildings for uh, for for the orcs or the ogres. Uh, capital plus ten. Uh, meat gained. Meat generated five. I think we're going to generate some meat. Uh, when can we upgrade you? Uh, two population surplus. Okay. All right, so we got that. Your cool, cool. may be extended to provide greater support to your marauding forces. Give the word to erect more facilities from which hungry mouths may be fed. Okay. Banner of swiftness speed plus 20%. Strider. I don't know what Strider does, but sounds good. Okay. No ogre can beat me. So we can build something here as well, I guess. It doesn't look like it though. Maybe we can only. Anyone want to challenge me? Yeah, we can't build anything here yet, just now. Okay. I'm the boss. Got it. And we can upgrade a building though. We can upgrade here. So let's upgrade you. That'll give us some extra income. And it'll give us an extra building. Cool, cool. Swiftness Diplomacy is the refuge of fools and weaklings. Yet it may also serve your ambition for conquest. A pact of non aggression can be a useful tool to bind the hands of your rivals, Indeed. leaving you free to make war elsewhere. Alright, so I do want to make a non aggression pact with someone. Not sure who. I do want to get into diplomacy. So, the Thunder Guts, where are they? Lasargs. I think Lasargs, probably. Uh, uh, we'll do a non aggression pact. And a trade agreement. And... No, 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 no. Uh, this is... We can't even propose the offer. I'm not going to give them 7,000. That's just not happening. Their strength link is 68, ours is 4. And yet... Let's try this again. And I can't... So 7,588 they want to sign that. I, I don't want to give you money. I want you to give me money. Okay, never mind. Uh, Greasus. We move up here. Uh, 
suffering's leg. Your army suffers in the miserable conditions they find themselves, my lord. Move them on, or more warriors will fall to the elements. Okay. So we are going to be suffering attrition Try here. Lord. Try Which is a little annoying. But there's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, oh, I can't recruit uh, because I'm in a march stance. So you might as well recruit. Um, let's get another one of you. And... Everything is weak against armor. Which is a little annoying. My recipes will grant them power. Okay. Let's end the turn. Uh, contracts available. New contracts available for selections. Okay. Your friends abroad must want someone pulverized, for a contract has been issued. Fulfill it, and a sizable bounty will be yours. Uh, contracts may be browsed and accepted on the contracts panel. Uh, okay. So, over factions may be offered contracts from time to time by other powers that wish to direct some blunt military force against their enemies. Every few turns, when playing as an over faction, a number of contracts are issued at once. These may be browsed and accepted in a contracts panel. Accepting one contract discards the others. Contracts can only be accepted on the turn they are issued. Completing a contract brings significant financial and diplomatic reward from the issuing faction. Okay. Contracts. Okay. Raise or sack the following settlement scrap towers. It's a bit far away right now. Eliminate the foreign character, the Thin Grim Iron Will. I don't mind doing that. Uh, raise or sack the following settlement. Uh, Shambletown. Which is a bit far away as well. <clears> oh, <throat> where are they? They're up here. Alright. We'll accept this one. I hope it's not timed. Alright, uh, you... Yeah. Let's just get into a normal stance. Let's get into here then. For now. Your army has marched all it can, my lord. They must rip. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be over, tyrant, one day. Um. I think. Gracious. The shock. Uh, let's take a look at. So we can't upgrade anything here. Over there. What about in the Great oh, Hall of Graces? So now we can get something in this one. And... Box of... Or crate of Noblars. Of crate minus 20% all units in camp. Income from post-battle loot plus 5%. Uh, 
kind of like the minus 20% upkeep. Let's do that. Um, how is it looking? Uh, oh. Leader of the tribe. So we are gaining uh, control now. That's good. Because we were getting close to a rebellion, which is not the end of the world, but... Um, Alright, let's get... I really want to know what Iron Fist is. And I don't have one here. I have one over here. Carve and the Iron Fist is used by the Ogres to bury, parry blows and block missiles. Okay. Ah, so it's basically shielded. This unit has a shield and will block 35% of all small arms missile fire hitting in front of them. Okay. Uh, this unit has strong emphasis on dealing damage. Fighting it, make sure to take it out before it can get into firing or melee range. When attacking brace charge defenders, this unit only loses half of its charge bonus. Okay. So you know what? I think we're going to recruit a couple of Iron Fists here. And that'll be fine. Uh, I don't want you to move. Uh, what's in here, I wonder? Mm-hmm. It's not the worst. Okay, but I, I don't want him to move. Uh-huh. Uh, can we put you into an encampment stance? No. Alright. Let's end the turn. Cross clubs. Okay. So we need to go get Amble Peak. Alright, so we researched uh, Butcher's Spices, giving us plus 5% casualty replenishment rate, which is great. Let's move out. March over tyrants orders. Uh you have a level master. Uh Tribe Stealer. I think I'm going to go with Unstoppable Force here. More spoils. Nice and shiny. And... Slaughter Master. Let's... I wanna... Let's get... You up there. So that we have 20. Then you can go back into the camp. Uh, can't I garrison? 
I guess not. So they're generating meat. We have no meat in any of our armies, which kind of sucks. And we don't have. And we can upgrade some buildings. So let's upgrade these. And we will build something down here as well. And I think I'm going to go with meat. So you have the tusk compound. You do not. So I think actually we'll go with the meat here. And here we'll go with the tusks to get that extra income. Yeah. Okay. I need to do some research. Bigger spit control plus four. Larger fire pit scrap. Cap growth plus five. You know what? Uh Let's go with larger fire pits for the camp growth. Looks after his boys. And we're going to have to end this episode here. We are about an hour in. Uh, we are at the end of this turn, so I think this is a mm -hmm. reasonable place to end up. And I think in the next one we are going to be attacking Amble Peak. And hopefully taking that so we gain control of the entire Ivory Road. So why don't you come back tomorrow and see how that goes. So uh, yeah, uh, there are Total Warhammer videos, uh, well, Total Warhammer 3 videos every day on the channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And if you are enjoying the videos, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button as well. It really helps me out a lot. And if you know a ton about uh, Warhammer lore, I would love it if you would uh, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, just enlighten us who don't know much Warhammer lore. I don't know any Warhammer lore, basically. I think the universe is fascinating, but I haven't uh read any of the books or anything like that so any tidbits of knowledge that you want to share i really would appreciate it a lot so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time